morning guys welcome back and welcome to the channel if you're new my name is Tawana and I just want to say thank you guys for joining us and stopping by on this here channel so as you guys can tell by the title today we're doing a little bit of like a monthly reset November reset it's a new month it is five days into November but obviously the month started in the middle of the week and working going to school and all of that can't really do a reset you know midweek so I said why not start this weekend and get everything going for November so you guys saw this morning that I did start by making a little bit of like pumpkin spice pancakes these are pretty healthy they are oat based so a um, little you know less carb heavy if you're looking for something healthier but still indulging in our fall and soon to be winter times so what I'm going to do first um now it's actually I'm going to start working on my calendar just to jot down what I have upcoming for the rest of the month of November probably do a little bit of my planner as well and then we're gonna head to a cafe because I need to get some work done. I have I wanna edit a little bit of a video that I have going up tomorrow Sunday. And also I am working on a paper for my epidemiology class. Um, it's a critique on actual study papers and review papers. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work on that, although it's not due next week. But I do wanna, you know, start get it going and try to get it out of the way as soon as possible, really. But of course, before we jump right in, just wanna tell you guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, you guys, if you take anything away from my videos, if you like the content, the creativity, whatever it might be, I would really appreciate that. And um, I'm aiming for 2K, so let's try to get up there because I have a really fun and exciting um, giveaway plan for that. So definitely, yeah, consider joining the Evangelista gang. But you guys, um, let's start get started because it's almost like 9 a.m. I do want to head to this cafe and kind of settle in, get my work done. Forgive me if you can see the camera, the shadow in the actual frame. Anyway, for this month, we are in the home stretch, you guys, for school, which I'm just, I can't believe that I'm almost done with my first semester of grad school. Anyhow, I've already mapped out since way back when that I had epidemiology like homework and stuff on here. So it's written down in pencil. I'm just gonna jot in a couple of other things like some papers I have due this upcoming week. So let's get started on that. So this is my November calendar at a glance. I put down the priorities I have for the upcoming weeks, which are a couple of papers and then also something to do with YouTube, which is for brand deals um, for upcoming December. Then this week, we obviously had like the Epi Methods homework I told you guys that I have to do. Well, um, I'll do that tomorrow. And then I've got some, well, reading and papers to write. And I also have an exam due by Friday night. The paper I'm going to be working on today will be my epi critique paper. So I'm going to go to the coffee shop and get that done. And then a couple of other things coming up, you know, exams and Thanksgiving, which I misspelled a little bit. But this is November so far and anything else, of course, I can jot it down in between. Okay, I also have a quiz for my epidemiological methods class that I'm going to start taking. Um, it's going to be due tomorrow, so obviously I'm going to get it out of the way. These quizzes are pretty straightforward and simple. They're only 15 minutes long and it usually has about 10 questions. So I'm just gonna do that real quick before we head off to the cafe. Okay, so I am done with my questions. I am going to submit and we'll also get the grade right away. Hey, okay, so 100%, we're good to go. 
I'm just packing up um, what I'm taking with me to the cafe. So, wipe pipe so I can wipe down the actual table and stuff. Um, AirPods and my laptop, obviously to edit. Gonna get me a drink, hand sanity, and bringing my blue light glasses from Key here. Um, I love these, but honestly, I think they're a little bulky, so I am trying to see if I can find something else that's a little smaller sometimes. I used to have this really nice one that was like just clear framed and everything, but I lost it like over a year ago, so we'll see, but that's what we have, so I'm gonna pack it up and we can go. I just came from the coffee shop and I'm gonna get me some lunch because it is just about lunchtime. I'm gonna head to Sweet Green, which is literally around the corner and get me a salad. And then I'm gonna head home because my friend has to pick up something from me. Um, and then we have a couple of errands to do. So a couple of things to do from there. Um, I did honestly do a lot. I got like most of my editing done for tomorrow. And then the paper, I did a lot, so. I'll finish it up sometime next week, honestly, well, before next week, before next Saturday when it's due. But yeah, let's go get some meat. Damn. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so I just got home from, well, I didn't come straight home after I got the sweet green. I decided to stop by the mall because I needed just one or two things really. Um, and my friend wasn't gonna come for another like hour or so. She told me she's running late a little bit. So I thought, let me just kill some time and go get something I needed. So I stopped by Victoria's Secret. They had the seven for 35 sale on um, underwear. So I needed, you know, some new ones. So I just picked that up right there. I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like. Everybody knows what underwear looks like. And the star of the show I actually wanted to show you is this new Fenty body cream, you guys. So this is her limited edition one. And it's like a shimmering butter drop. Hold on. Yeah, it's called Butter Drop Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream is what the package kind of looks like a little bit and i was so happy i got this because i went in the store and there was a little sample one and none behind it and you guys know that the sale just passed so i was like this um one of the sales associates came up and she's like do you need any help so i told her uh i guess you guys are sold out of this right and she's like oh my god i've never even seen this before i was like yeah she's like limited edition 
she opened it up like the sample one she smelled it you guys oh the low key smells like cinnamon like there's definitely cinnamon in there and just look at that gorgeous just beautiful anyway so she was like let me double check she checked like on her little app thing it wasn't even pulling it up at all so she said i'll be right back and she went to the back of the store probably like five minutes later i was like already on the fancy website trying to get this because like i told you guys it's sold out as for a website i thought it was sold out in stores she comes back out with four of these and she goes here's one for you and she also is gonna buy one so she kept one for herself in the back room but i was like you are the goat <laughs> but when i tell you guys like this is just beautiful i love the packaging on this it smells definitely different from the original one that she has and she needs to make this just like year round because the fact that it's shimmering just think of this in the summer but the scent is definitely giving me like fall and winter vibes so maybe i may get me another one as backup but we'll see um but i definitely would recommend that you guys check this out if you haven't yet because chef's kiss anyway um, I did just have my lunch and the girl actually messed up my order at Sweet Green because I wanted the chicken parm pesto um, and there's no chickpeas in there. And also she gave me kale as the base when it's actually baby spinach and I don't really like kale. Anyway, I did eat it and I did want to share with you guys something about Sweet Green. So I don't know if you know this, but trans fat is a type of fat that's actually banned in the US. So you're not supposed to like eat it at all. I think everybody had till 20 20 maybe to kind of like phase it out of all types of foods so if you check the food labels behind anything you buy it's going to tell you zero trans fat because they're like no it's not good for you it's worse than like it's like one of the worst fats at all sweet green uses grapeseed oil to make their dressings not the salads just the dressings so definitely if you guys are getting that avoid the actual dressings at all costs they all use that base of grape oil and we don't want trans fat because <laughs> you're gonna just be yeah unhealthy as hell so what I do, I usually get the actual salad and then I put my own, um, the Green Goddess dressing from Trader Joe's on there because it's just as good um, with that. So do keep that in mind if you're buying stuff there, just don't get any dressings. You can maybe get like a balsamic vinaigrette because it's vinaigrette. There's nothing um, grapeseed oil in there, but everything else, all those little hot sauces and dressings that taste so good, trans fat, so leave it alone. I am gonna head out because I need to run to Trader Joe's <laughs> to get a couple of things. And also I wanna stop by Target I think I'm going to make tacos tonight and um, pick up a couple other things. So uh, let's keep going. I know you want to try to be I always get y'all from Amy's. So I'm gonna try the one at the top here. The tortilla, casserole, and black beans. Let's see if it's any good. Belgium, welcome. Bitches, this pretty, that's seldom. This box better than the box he was held in. I'm, I'm, I'm on the D in the outer. I call him daddy like louders. He like it when I get drunk, but I like it when he be sober. That's top of the top, but I never fuck with beginners. I let him play with my pussy, then look at how good his fingers. I'm in the zone.
I am back from the store. You guys saw that I went to Trader Joe's and also to, what's that place? Target, how am I forgetting my favorite like store ever? Anyhow, you saw what I picked up. Just a couple of items I needed, of course, for like the week and cooking and everything like that. And I did tr pick up something I wanted to try. Just a little sweet treat from Trader Joe's. This is the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And I've heard people talk about it as really good. I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate, but it is healthier, so I'm giving it a go. But I'm gonna try it with you guys real quick and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so it looks like a regular little peanut butter cup, honestly. Let's see, just dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. My chocolate. <laughs> this is delicious. Like, honestly, it's not like the super bitter dark chocolate. That's that's why I think it's so good. And the peanut butter is really creamy and delicious. And not the biggest fan of like peanut butter, but I do like peanut butter cups. <laughs> so definitely try this out if you have a Trader Joe's near you. Yeah, they're definitely, um, you know, worth the hype. Anyhow, I did pick up some flowers, so I want to do a little quick arrangement for that and just make sure that the place is tidied up and I'm ready to go for the well, not really the new week, but for Sunday. I will tell you guys, I like doing a lot of my work on a Saturday, preferably, just because Sunday, I like to start the week off resting. I grew up in a place on an island where Sunday was like the rest day, the Lord's day and all of that. Most businesses are closed on a Sunday, it's slow paced, and I just like that, you know, part about it where you get to enter a new week without having to rush and think of, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. I got all these different errands and tasks. That's why I'm kind of trying to get everything done for today. So let me go ahead and fix up my arrangement and I'll talk to you guys after. So it is a little later. I just had my tacos and they were phenomenally good. But I'm gonna wind down for the night and um, basically end the vlog right here. Um, I do wanna let you guys know that we will be doing Vlogmas. I'm gonna be doing it a little differently where it will be some weekly vlogs just because the first week and two of December are gonna be crazy busy, crazy hectic because of um, finals and all that stuff coming up. But we have something exciting after the second week. 
definitely stay tuned so you don't miss it. Um, I don't want to say what it is yet, but it's definitely going to be fun for the rest of Vlogmas after that. Something different. So of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I do love and appreciate every one of you, every single person on here. All the nice comments that you guys leave, all the feedback I get in my DMs on Instagram, wherever it might be. Just want to let you know that I do appreciate it. And yeah, so I will catch you guys on the next video. But until then, bye guys.